Hi, lovely people. It's Psychic Debbie again and Spiritual Advisor. So the video today is going to be about relationships. And am I going to say that I know everything about relationships? No, far from it. I've been married three times. I'm on my third husband. So you'd be like, well, why would you talk about relationships? The reason I'm doing this video is because I've been asked by a couple of my clients and some friends, and they say that I'm very good at helping them with their relationships, um, knowing what is good for them, how to attract. It's mostly been girls, so attract a male. I'm also very, very good, which I do on my website, and I do readings. If I see a photo of you and a, another person, so if you're a guy looking at some girls on the website, and I, if I see your photo, I will tell you that person's personality within two seconds. I will tell you if you guys are connected or vibrating together. So that's why I'm doing these videos is because I've been asked by numerous of people, are, are you going to do a relationship video because you've helped us out enormously and knowing where someone else is vibrating and, and how to help that in a relationship. I hope that makes sense. So the first thing that I would do is if I was doing a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you is I'd ask you, why are you wanting a relationship? So a lot of people would be like, well, duh, Debbie, I'm alone. Or I want someone to do things with or, you know, but really when I get down to the core of it and spirit will say, oh, this and this happened in their life, they want someone because of money, because of stability, or they need somebody because they're lonely or they want um, sexual because they they're you know want a lot of sex or they uh, because their friends are 30 years old and they're all getting married and having kids or they want kids so a lot of times when I ask someone why do you want somebody that will kind of give you the, the show you what it is that you're trying to vibrate at so what I mean by that is if you say, well, duh, Debbie, I'm lonely, you know, and I get it. We all want to have a companion, you know, male, female, whatever it is that you desire. And, but if you are radiating at I'm lonely, what you um, resist, you persist, you know what I mean? So if you're saying I'm lonely, I'm lonely and lonely, and you're looking out there for a partner, guess what? You're vibrating at I'm being lonely and you're vibrating at I'm desperate. So if you go to a bar, example, I'm not saying you have to go to a bar, it could be even a church or wherever, or walking down the street, they're not gonna see confidence. They're gonna see, oh, that person's desperate. And desperation is a really bad perfume to wear. So one of the main things to do, or that would help you, is finding out why you want this partner. So. I'll be doing a reading on somebody or doing a consultation on somebody and they'll and they're not fit say they're like shaped like me I'm not you know I don't go to the gym or anything like that but then the girl will say well I want someone that's you know 6'2 and he's athletic and did it and I'll be like well are you athletic are you going to the gym all the time are you prosperous because if a, a multi-millionaire is gonna go and people are gonna fight me with this are, is not going to go for a girl that uh, most of them are going to go with someone that's confident. Yes, you're going to say, okay, he's going to go for the girl that's, you know, pinned up and da 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 da. But she's bringing confidence in there. If she has no confidence, then he will just use her. And, and it's the truth. I, I, any guy that's watching this will be going, yep, yeah, that's true. If you're going to give it to me for free, then why am I going to fight for it? Every man wants a spicy person. And they want someone to be confident. So if you're saying, I want someone that has uh, a lot of money, why would this person with a lot of money not attract to, if they're, if they're going for the bimbos, then that's a different story. But if you want someone that is solid and confident and it makes, um, can bring stability into your life, you got to look at yourself and say, what is it that I can give to them? Is that the reason why I'm going to be with this person? I'm attracted to you because I see that I would get a house with you and I could get kids with you and da da da. Then you're not going to have a great relationship. So you're saying, okay, Debbie, you're, this video is how to attract. Well, first of all, you got to learn what it is that you want, and and do you need do you need the person? Because then you're not going to attract the right person. 
Yeah, you might track somebody, but it's not going to be the person that you want. And is it something that you want or is it somebody that can be your equal and that you are confident on your own and if this person comes in and then you guys blend together? So it's like you don't need that person in your life. You just want to be with them because we're bringing joy to each other. You're accepting them for who they are, and they're accepting you for who you are. So here's the first part of, uh, I'm going to do a couple more videos on this. It might not be right away. But um, the first part is, again, looking as why. And uh, if it's in any part of desperation or I need them for security, I need them for um sexual I need them to be somebody because I don't want to be alone that is not the right person so then you need to turn it around and say that I am stable I know how to handle my money I know how to be um, alone and I'm very confident in that way so then when you get into that space then you can go out and say to the universe source God whatever you believe in not in hope because hope is begging and again, you'll be vibrating at begging. So if you would ask and be in faith that I allow great love to come to me. You don't need to say, um, I, I allow a man to come to me or I allow a woman to come to me. Because then you're going to get any man or any woman. Okay? So if you say, I allow uh, divine love to come to me in a partner that honors and respects me. And, it's, and it and allows me to be who I truly am, period. Put a sticky note on the mirror. When you're, when you're brushing your teeth, because we forget. I do it all the time, too. If you go into my bathroom right now, you'll see sticky notes in there. My son's like, okay, here's another sticky note. But I have different kinds of sticky notes that remind me to do a little mantra and go, oh, yeah, not to be so hard on yourself. So the first part is allowing are you really allowing? Is there a fear base in there? Well, I got hurt before. And, and then, you, and, and like I said, when I do consultations, I'll keep on hearing, you know, these stories that, you know, I was hurt and did it. And I get that. But to get love, you have to be able to receive love. It doesn't go the other way. So if you send out divine love to the universal source, to God, whatever it is, and say, I allow this divine love, this divine partner to come into my life with happiness and joy, prosperity and spirituality. You can put the prosperity in there, but it's not the main reason, okay? Don't make it the main reason, well, I want a good-looking guy so that my friends are jealous or my friends are getting all married, so I need a guy or I need a gal, okay? So let's put it out there. I allow, and saying it every day, I am of divine love. I allow this great partner into my life with love, happiness, health, wealth, financial prosperity, and spirituality. So be it, so be it. So if you're saying this verse and you're saying this mantra and you're saying it to yourself to allow it, then and stories come up, then you're not allowing. If you're saying this mantra and you're like, oh yeah, I'm thinking of my dishes or I'm thinking of my bills and I got to do what I'm doing today, that's not sending it out, honey. No, I'm sorry. You need to be in a space, take three deep breaths. You would be like, and then take it again and take it again. And if a story comes up, that's probably one of the reasons why you're not allowing this love to come into you. So again, people say, oh, Debbie, is it simple? I keep on doing these little mantras and thing, telling people that it's simple. Yes. When you're in the confidence of who you are and you say, hey, I've got a lot to offer and I'm allowing this great love. When you allow the great love to come to you, then you can choose. Here's an example. I was doing a reading for a lady, a beautiful, beautiful lady in her 40s, and she had kids and just strikingly good woman, good looking woman and, and good inside too. I'm not just talking about you know, the looks. So I um, was doing a reading for her and I told her to go on like match you know, millionaire matchmaker.com. I don't, I don't know what the, I don't know what it is. I'm not advertising for them, but I said, I see you being with a millionaire. And she's like, I can't be with a millionaire. I, you know, I'm in my forties. I have a couple kids and did it. And I said, no, I, I see through spirit that you're in the vibration where, you know, they're going to be attracted to you and you can attract, you can attract it. And so she did. And then she wrote me back and said, Oh my God, Debbie, I got, 
more offers than, you know. And I said, see, now you get to choose which millionaire you want to be with. See, before she was thinking, oh, I'd be happy with just a millionaire, right? Because she was choosing the money. She wasn't choosing the relationship. So now that she was like, oh, I've got five offers, I go, now you get to be picky because if you want to have a long lasting relationship with this person, then you look at the other things, the love, the joy, the happiness, how you get along, the communication. So I hope that you get what I'm saying there. So get to the place you have to allow, honey. You have to allow and have to ask, why do I want somebody? And if it's not for the reason that you are going to allow them to be who they are and you're going to be allowed to be who you are and that you're just doing it for love and joy and peace, they're not going to make you whole. They are not going to make you complete, honey. You need to be whole and complete before you can even ask for somebody. So get into that vibration. Breathe three deep breaths every morning saying, I allow divine love to come to me. And I allow this perfect partner to come to me with great love, joy, happiness, health, wealth, and prosperity and spirituality. And if you do this through the weeks, you'll start noticing. And then start noticing the little coincidences. A friend says, hey, I'm going to a barbecue. Come with me. And you're like, I don't really want to go. Are you allowing? No. Are you, um, you don't know who's going to introduce you to this person. And I'm not saying that you can't meet them on the internet. But I had, I was uh, here, believe it or not, I was here at my, at my apartment and I was trying to exercise and the, and the uh, equipment broke and I was on the equipment and there was a lady, you know, walking next to me and my, for some reason that, of course me, but I'm electricity, you know, cause I'm magnetic personality, I can't get things going. And so there was two other guys working out at the gym and I'm like trying to, you know, me pushing all the buttons and trying to get, damn it, I can't get this to go. And I looked at her and I said, could you please help me get this machine going? And she, she was being, you know, rude, just da, da, da. And I knew she was single. I could tell because I was spiritual. And I did, and I'm like, I asked her again. I said, could you please help me with this equipment? And she just, you know, and so then these two guys heard me ask, and they said, hey, we'll try to help you. You know, we don't know how to run this equipment. So they did da, 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 da. So how do we not know that if this lady would have helped me out, that I could have set her up with somebody? So that she could have been asking a day or two before, I need to meet somebody. She could have met the two guys that helped me, or I might know a bunch of guys. So that's what I mean by it's like the little coincidences, the little points of view. Do not tell it what you want and what, where it's, you're going to meet. I'm going to meet him on this site, you know, or I'm going to go to the grocery store and someone's going to come up to me, you know, then you're in control and then you're in fear. So allowing first ask why get to the balance of that, of the why and releasing the fear because what you, you know, focus on is what persists. So if you're focused on, I'm lonely, well, guess what? You're going to keep on being lonely. If you focus on, I am gorgeous, I am the queen, and men just love me, and they just come right up and talk to me, you know? It, it's, it seems like an attitude, but it helps. If it's an attitude or if it's confidence. If you're having the attitude because it's fear, worry, and doubt, and you think the guys are going to come to you that way, or the gal's going to come to you that way, no, it doesn't. If you're in the confidence of who you are and you're not trying to, you know, blah, 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 pick me, pick me kind of thing. And the guy's going to go, no, do you know what I'm saying? Or the gal's going to go, no, either. Because every person wants it that whoever you're with, that you won't just go with anybody. There's got to be that little bit of mystery there. Okay. So that's the first part of the relationship thing. There's a lot of more things that I can talk about, but for right now, ask why and then Definitely, because you, when you take a lower vibration away, you got to fill it up with a higher vibration. Then you say, I allow, okay? I allow, I allow a great person that honors and respects me for who I am. I hope that helps. And, you know, great searching for that wonderful, wonderful person in your life. I'm sending you smiles and blessings and have a great day. Bye-bye.